Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back, friends. Today I have a stone lot to show you. I picked up a decent sized stone lot online and I'm going to show you what I have here. I will pre-sell any of these necklaces if anybody's interested. I pre-sell to all of my subscribers, so just subscribe to my channel, uh, which is completely free to do, and email me at vintagejewelrygaloreatyahoo.com. I ship all over the world as long as you're willing to pay the uh, shipping fee, and I use PayPal invoicing, which is secure for you and for me as well. So let me get started showing what I have. I may have to look at some of these a little bit closer. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'll mention that again. I have this fantastic, um, I believe this is 58 inches, and this one, I did stick this on the gem tester real quick because I was curious. It's 56 inches. It's testing up towards aqua. I'm going to have to look at it closer to make sure. It's definitely stone, though. It's beautiful. It is um, faceted, as you can see, and it's strung knotted in between. There is no clasp on it. It's a very long, beautiful, faceted stone necklace. It's marvelous. Let me hang it up. So I have it. It's wrapped up four times. Like I said, it is 56 inches. It's fantastic, I think. Beautiful necklace. Let me show it to you close up getting myself into using the that's a beautiful necklace don't you agree this may need cleaned off but you get the idea you see it. it's lovely it's fantastic beautiful find i also have a lovely um this one's 22 inches and it's uh got a, it has a barrel clasp and it's fabulous mother of pearl beads at 22 inches it is strung and knotted my preference on my stone jewelry or crystal or glass is strung and knotted on silk in between these ones are strung and knotted which to me shows better quality not all the time but you know it does to a degree show the quality of the uh the beads that are strung is somebody's taking it up beautiful absolutely beautiful i think that's mother of pearl definitely possibly aquamarine has to be looked at just a little bit closer i have a cage stone necklace with an art deco style clasp it's one of those skinny push-in ones and this is ca numerous uh cage stones i think give you a measurement on it i don't think this one's quite as long it's probably about 20 inches could be the 22 as well like the mother of pearl it's what actually it's 26 it's longer um, and on here is some carnelian, jasper, agate, rose quartz. Um, that's cool. What a nice stone. And it's caged. And like I said, it's an older clasp on there. It's one of those, uh, has that skinny, where is the clasp? I just had, it kind of matches in with these stones to a degree. All right, so that's that. A lovely caged stone necklace. A mixture of different types of stones inside of there. I have, this is sterling. I want to look at this. I did pull this out and look at it just for a second because there's a marking on it and I can't tell what it says. It says 925 on the clasp on this, but I didn't know if there's a maker's mark on it or not. One second, enjoy those ones for now. No, I don't think so. 925, sterling, silver, and amethyst. That's the clasp. You've got a decent amount of amethyst chips, and I believe these are sterling. I'll test them. But you have those beads and sterling. This is a long necklace. This is like probably 50 inches. That's a guess. Let's see. Yeah, I'm completely off today. This one is 38 inches of lovely uh, amethyst chips, and I believe sterling on these beads. Definitely sterling on the clasp, but I'll test the beads. So, so far we've got three four beautiful necklaces in that lot um now per, excuse my pronunciation on this because i could be off uh on the pronunciation i've never had this before it's my first time ruby zozite i believe i could be wrong on the pronunciation but it's pretty isn't it i think it may be a soft string i'll test that i'm not sure but look how pretty it is it's beautiful and if i'm pronouncing that wrong excuse me it looks like roses you know I have to look up exact, I know there's ruby in it. I don't know the other stone in there. Um, I'll look at it. I'm gonna look it up just so I know. Beautiful though. I think it's lovely. It's not real long. It is a toggle clasp on this one. And it's 18 inches around the neck. Ruby Zozite, I think it is how you pronounce it. 
it's definitely that stone. I may be pronouncing it incorrectly. I'll look up the other stone that's in with it because, to be honest, it's my first time having it, and I'm not sure. I think it's a South String. I think it's fabulous. Um, I have a... This has a sterling uh, silver clasp on it, and these are bulky stones that are strung and separate. Mark 925 on the clasp. It has one of these ones on it, one of those big ones, um, sterling marked on right there, and it looks like sterling too. These are strung and knotted as well. These are large stones. This is something I have to look at. Um, I don't know exactly what it is. Almost looks like a variation of Jasper that could be a little dying on it. Not sure though on that, so don't quote me on it, um, So because I'm going to look at it better. It's It's a big necklace though chunky graduated beads going all the way down um and like i said is strung and knotted is an 18 inch necklace without opening in it and there's the clasp and you see they're strung and knotted in between and cool big heavy somewhat heavy necklace have to figure out exactly what it is i have these lovely vintage bagger beads i i don't short exact dating on them brass findings um definitely look vintage there's some agate and jasper mixed in here it's long it's a nice uh bagger bead necklace it is actually 36 inches and I think it's nice. Like I said, it has a barrel clasp and it's a nice long one. And that's beautiful. A beautiful stone right there. And you have a combination of Jasper and Agate on there. I think it's beautiful. Okay. I have no idea what the stone is. Look at it. It kind of has like these veins in it. You see that? Let me put this close up on it. I mean, that kind of looks like it needs wiped off. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, Davey had that. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is, okay? If anybody knows, I'd and appreciate, see that like veiny likeness in it? It's cool. I don't know what kind of stone this is, but um, I have to test that for quartz. I'm not sure. Sterling, I believe, could be glass, could be quartz these two pieces um but i have no idea what that is do you see look you move it it kind of looks like scales you see what i mean like layers i don't know i'd like to know i'll figure it out that i want to hold on to <laughs> i think it's pretty cool um little rose quartz and hematite it's a stretch bracelet i still thought it was cool this i'm not sure um I did Google it and it's coming up as like a variation of jade. I have, and it's hematite. And this looks like a venturine to me here. But I don't know if this is a marble or a jade. I have to look into this one a little bit more. But there's that. It's cool. Um, Slithers, I'm not sure what it is. I think this is a adventuring stretch. I don't really like the way the stretch feels. It could probably be very strong. This one feels good on that stretch. Hematite necklace. Probably gold toned beads would be my guess. It's a twisted hematite. It's nice, actually. I'll measure it and I'll hang it up and show it to you. It is actually going to 18 to 20 inches on the necklace. And I think those are gold tone beads. I'll I'll check them out to see exactly what they are. Probably like gold tone, gold plated type thing. Um, where's the necklace? That's hematite. Um, 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 um. <laughs> this is how white. That's how white. Um, this is a little. I believe it's jasper. It's one of those little pool bracelets. I'll, I'll test it to make sure. Look at it better. But it's one that you pull on the end of the titan. This yellow calcite, I believe. Kind of looks dyed to me on this one. If a barrel clasp and it's separated by beads. Let's see. It's a nice color, though. I do believe it's stone. Um, I think it's calcite. I don't know. It could be a dyed, like dyed quartz. I don't know what calcite is, honestly. 18 inches long. 
but it does look like stones. It doesn't look like glass. It looks hand. And it's cold. But I'll, I'll, I'll zap it and I'll look at it closer and make sure. This one is definitely glass. Amethyst glass could use a restring. Um, it doesn't look like stone. It doesn't feel like it. I'll zap it to make sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I have a couple more nice necklaces in here. Oh, look at this one. I'm going to pull this off because I don't like it on here. This is a beautiful necklace. These are like ruby, uh, ruby chunk pieces in here and some kind of agate. And that piece, I don't know, I might leave it on there if somebody asks for it on there, but it is a toggle clasp. Let me measure it. It is measuring from 23 inches and you have that pendant in the middle. And let me show you. Um, I think they're really nice. I do think I'll take that off. I think this is a nice necklace without it and it's an easy removal. I think it's better without it. Don't you think they're beautiful? They're faceted and I, that's some kind of agate, I believe. Again, I'll test it. It's definitely stone. It is faceted, it's cold and it feels fantastic in the hand. That's a nice necklace. I don't like the pendant on it though. I have this, um, this kind of looks like a faceted layer more. There's multiple stones. There's lace agate, aventurine. That's a smoky quartz. Um, some agate hair. I don't know exactly what this is. It's definitely stone. I didn't test to see if this is sterling or not. I will. But it's got a combination of different... See how the cloudy appearance is on it? Kind of reminds me of, of a Laramore, a faceted um, polished Laramore. It is 38 inches around the neck. And I like the combination of the lace agate on there. It's different shapes. You have some chunks, you have some beads, you have these long, bigger discs. And a cool combination of stone. It's a nice necklace, actually. That does have a cloudiness. I have to look at it closer and try to you know, figure out what it is. This is a simple, I don't know what this is. What kind of stone that is. I don't think it's sterling findings. I'll look at it though. I like got some kind of something, some kind of dye on my fingers. I don't even know where that came from. But it's not coming off because I've been scrubbing. I don't know exactly what it is, honestly. <laughs> I was probably out in the, uh, the back in the shed. Oh my God, this one's nice. Okay, I don't know what that is. This one is, is very beautiful. I believe this is sodalite. Look, so it's, it's turned the wrong way, I feel like. Let's move it this way. There we go. Sodalite and pearls. And these are genuine first water culture pearls. Sometimes the over beaded ones that they put paint on are fake. And you can tell you see really humongous grooves on them. Um, but whatever, it doesn't matter. These are real. These are first water culture pearls. And I believe that's a sodalite. I don't think it's lapis. I don't see... It could be. Uh, it's questionable. No, tell me what you think. I think it's nice. There's the back and here's the front. It's like um, they have it carved. Beautiful pearls. And this is a, a barrel clasp on it. Let me tell you how long that is. In case somebody wants to wear it. It is like 17 inches open probably or 18. Let me measure it. I think it's a nice necklace. It's 18 opened. And it's definitely stone. Um, I'm questionable sometimes on that stuff. Uh, let me see if I have anything else worth showing. These two faux bracelets. Um, I, I think they're faux. Yeah, I see some wearing made to look like um, the designer bracelets, but they're not. I think it's highlight on the end. This is nice. A stone bracelet. This one's glass glass and says Aramish on it. That is faceted glass, definitely. It's pretty. Um, that's a stone. These are sterling silver findings and nice big pearls on here. That's leather. These are lever backs and I looks like a chalcedony kind of. They're earrings. See, they're they're natural stones. There's a variation in color. You can see like the green and blue on both of them. I'm not sure exactly. I think it's Chalcedony. Then I have this necklace that's some Jasper going on. Um, 
with some, look at the little amethyst leaves. Then you have some jasper, different colors and types of jasper. I think it's nice actually, and it looks a little short. I like the, uh, it is a, I think it's a sterling lobster claw clasp. And you have different shapes here. And this is probably maybe a, a self string. I still, I think it's cool. Nice stones nonetheless. This one is 20 inches around the neck open. I didn't open it. I know that because I know how that goes. Um, all right. Now I have some other, just some little bracelets here. These are really nice, but they are not on sterling. I don't believe. I don't see a mark and they feel too light. Beautiful stones on here though. You see that? Um, there's two of them. I see the other one in there. I don't know. I'll leave her back. Maybe I'll test them. Uh, they look, feel really light. Um, very pretty, though. The stones are beautiful on her. I'll make sure they're all stones, too. That looks like crystal. I'll test them. They feel like it. That one's definitely not. So I'll look into them. Maybe maybe they're a good... Uh, maybe, I didn't test those, okay? I'll be honest about that. These are... That's what these are. Just some look like Jasper type bracelets, some something in that hat in that line. Um, then I have these. I have a Dalmatian Jasper, a turquoise bead, uh, onyx, amethyst, tiger eye. This one's cool. Look at that. That doesn't look like a stone. It could be. I, I think it I don't know. Okay, this one I'm talking about sparkly. So and then I have this. I don't know. I didn't test it. Okay. It's not sterling finding. So that's what I have. That's what came in the box. Um, I, some of the necklaces are pretty fabulous. This one in particular, the bagger beads is amazing. This is amazing combo. I do like the ruby zozite, and I think that's amazing, but I do want to take the clasp off it. Unless, I mean, the pendant, unless somebody wants it with it. That's nice. I don't know what this is, but I think it's fabulous. Let me know if there's anything you like. The mother of pearl is amazing, and I like to, that it's strung appropriately. Beautiful, uh, vintage, uh, possibly antique cage stones. Amethyst, not a bad lot overall. I think I did pretty well on it, considering what I paid for it. If anybody wants anything, let me know. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, August the 6th, for my auction. Thank you for being here.